A very good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Adama City. With the backdrop of uh, the mountains at the back there, uh, that is uh, Salke Mountain and the Guraja Marian Mountain. And the panorama shot of uh, the Adama Science and Technology University in the background, it welcomes you to another Premier League match in the Ethiopian Premier League. Mekela Kea, also known as the Defence Forces team, that was just, that was just uh, uh, promoted the other day, is going to be playing another team that was just promoted, Abar Minch, the city of Abar Minch. They don't seem to be opening up well enough to be able to get the passes through. Maybe this is a better one. Eshetu should have been opening up other than encounter that ball there. It comes quickly to Israel Eshetu on his favorite foot. He turns it round looking for a chance. Oh, ho, ho. not a good left foot shot there. Should have just pushed it onto the right side. You can see the... Yes, the control was a bit rugged, but all the same, he took too much time in the box with the ball, and that is the reason why he was not even able to get a shot away. Tried very much to get the shot away there, Tishome Belachu. He's playing on the right back position, Bernardo Ching. Oh, this one's headed out. Looking for a chance for a shot here. It's a hard one, but it's not on target. Doesn't even get a touch from anybody else. It veers off target for a goal kick. This is going to be for the... It's going to be for Arba Beach, Kateva. <laughs> uh, just having a little bit of a joke about the number of uh, Ghanaians in uh, this uh, side. Uh, we've read a lot of stories about spying and espionage and all that and watched a lot of movies. Here is a good one, just looking for a touch to come from Ahmed Hussein. Two goals that he has scored, he's got the easiest of chances to score. Another one here. And the man formerly from Walkite totally misses this one. How will he explain that, uh, Peter? He did not put his eye on the ball. He definitely lost concentration for a very short stint there. Being what, being what it was in the first half, I don't see any changes very early in this game. I think they're still sizing each other up. And uh, the person who is able to score the first goal here, I think will bring this game into life. Well, that's a very good thing to say, but we must also look at how that person will be able to score the goal. It's not going to be from those long shots coming from Ahmed Hussein, because they have not worked in the, in the past. They have to build it right into the final third and try to work it from there. This is called opportunity. Uh, just, you know, getting the opportunistic mind into play. But if you've done a little bit of economics, you know, there's also the opportunity cost of it. There's what is lost in the process of trying to get that uh, into a goal. This looks dangerous to me. Does it? It's only Hagos who can make it dangerous. Shoots a low one, takes a deflection. But the deflection sends it off the field of play. Well, not a bad one coming from the new substitute, Fikadu Mekonen. But uh, not quite what was expected. I mean, Tessinot puts his foot in it. And then again, it's picked up by the Arba main side. Well, he gets it onto the right side and sets it up very nicely for Fikadu Mekonen, who's in a hurry to take it again. And again, it lets him down. Oh, he should have controlled it, but he didn't. Kerbangi Sharks, I do remember, is a team that once played um, an English Premier League team. Did they play Everton? Yeah, point? they played Everton twice. Okay. And that was because they had won a cup final in Kenya, isn't it? Yes, they had, they had won the cup in Kenya. And uh, and also as a Premier League champions, were they? Were they Premier League champions? No, they were never no, Premier League champions. So it was just the cup championship. And I think as a select team as well, because uh, it was uh, the cup champions and a select team. Yes, two of them and a select one. team. Uh, one time, Gormaya also did play in that, didn't they? You're right. Okay. Yeah, and the whole of the stadium that time, I remember, in Dar es Salaam, were coming to see Wade Rooney. Here is a header that just misses the target by inches from Mekela Kea. Would have changed the way this game would have been looked at. Uh, but then, I don't know, the header doesn't do what it's supposed to do coming from Girum Hagos. This comes into the box looking for anybody else on that side. We are already playing the third minute of a game now. Barring a supernatural act, this is going to be ending in nil-nil. And there's a whistle. Adama Sunset Technology University, Mekelakea nil. Arba Minch nil at full time.